You know, well, I'm a chicken fried And cold beer on a Friday night A pair of jeans that fit just right And the radio oh, 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 oh. Alright, here's two hickory bows I'm working on I wanted to uh, explain a, a concept to you Anytime you're building a bow You want to decide how aggressive you want to make it The more aggressive you make it And the smaller the area of the working limb That's actually bending The quicker it'll likely shoot The chances of it breaking will be higher So <clears throat> I typically build bows somewhere in the middle where it's not overly wide and but it's not overly aggressive as well so i'm going to get decent performance but i'm pretty confident that the bow is going to last a lifetime as well so this bow here is finished it goes two inches about the entire width of the limb so this is a very safe design this bow starts an inch and three quarters and it very quickly starts to taper in all the way towards the tip of the bow so this bow is likely going to be a good amount quicker than this bow here but the chances of this bow lasting a lifetime are uh, very high another thing you could do is this bow here has um, kind of a mulgabit style where it tapers in quickly and the tips are a little thicker so I'm sure that the, these tips won't bend if you brought this static tip in further before it flared out that would reduce the area that you're putting the stress on and likely make us a quicker bow but again it'd be more prone to breaking so um, what I do what I recommend uh, for, for a beginner on your first bow I recommend something like this keep it thick and long and, and try to make that thing stay together for someone that's an intermediate um, or up um, I, I suggest something more like this <clears throat> It's a little more aggressive. You're going to get nice performance out of it, but you're still pretty sure it's going to last a lifetime.